miles in for the juggle. Started about, I don't know, quarter to 12 last night. Three hours and 14 minutes of traveling time. Just gone 26 minutes past four a.m. Sun's just come up, which is a good thing because my light, well, battery on my light has just run out. <laughs> Bugger. <laughs> I was hoping to do a bit more miles today, uh, but it looks like it's going to be probably, well, at least 100, ideally 150, and what I really want is 200 miles. Just north of Scunthorpe at the moment, and I'm following Richard Lake's uh, uh, race around the race around Lincolnshire from 2022. Obviously that ride he did there was, what, 345 miles? I'll be, uh, I'll be stupid not to follow it because uh, it's got all the lanes which are all nice and empty, and they are so far. So I'm hoping it stays like this all the way around. slow going. I've even stopped for a little bit of a nap as well. I had an hour off. My legs just seized up. <laughs> I think it was going from the uh, moderately cold and I stopped for about 10 minutes just uh, repairing some of the bits on the bike and then uh, the muscle just locked in my leg and then as soon as that one locked the other one locked so I'm like oh bugger better give it a bit of a break and you know, eat something so I did and then I had a bit of a nap all good. All right, we're just coming up towards the Humber Bridge, if you haven't already guessed. I'll tell you what did get my goat, though. I'm just plowing along down there, that main straight, just before it. And, uh, yeah, I don't know, I was doing about, what, 16, 17 miles an hour? Ain't too special. And these bloody road bikes pulled out on the side road, directly in front of me going slow. I'm, I don't mind you pulling out as long as you're going bloody fast, but then we're in doing like 12, 13 mile now. I didn't say anything. But, <laughs> I did make an effort to push past them, so uh, I think I did about 24 <laughs> as I dive past them. Ah, uh, yeah, you know, you live in there, probably just an accident. Cracker, this boat is going as slow as anything. doing well. My legs are giving me jip. <laughs> when I did the last video, went around the little uh, cross country course and uh, the mozzie's got my legs badly and I got big old blisters now. Well I did do until I popped them all last night when I was in the bath. Uh, however my legs are so, not sore, they're just stinging. It's really hard to describe, but it is agony. So basically all I can do at the moment is I can probably roll for about four or five miles, then I have to stop because the pain is just intense and just let the uh, just let the swelling go down a bit and then push on. So uh, I'm going to have to rethink this, which is a, a bit of a kicker. I'm just outside of Imgham, I think I am. So 
not that far away from Grimsby Cleethorpes. Now, I might just roll into Grimsby, see our affair, and that should, Grimsby should take me to n almost 100. 185 at the moment, I think Grimsby's about eight, nine miles ish, seven miles, eight, nine, something like that. Uh, I'll have something to eat, and then I'll decide if I'm going to roll back over the walls to mark the raisin. Then I'll decide if I'm going to roll over the walls to raisin and then back home that way. Uh, that should pick up I don't know, about 30 miles, I suppose. So that will probably take me to about 120, 130, which is absolutely fine. As long as I've got my 100, that's all I care about, really, because um, that's what the main goal was. Anything plus that was a bonus. Uh, yet again, the 200 will have to wait. Pity. Food-wise, I've been... Obviously, this is like a little warm-up for me for training for the joggle, of course. Um, I've been eating quite a lot. I started out, before I started, um, I had a, uh, one of the little protein shakes just to uh, just give me a bit more carbohydrate and a bit of protein as well. And that did me absolutely peachy for about three, four hours, I suppose. Yep, absolutely fine. Uh, good speed, good time, and everything was peachy on that one temperature was cooler though so it could be now obviously when I got to just outside of Scunthorpe yeah I was going round the houses on Scunthorpe which is fine crossed over the bridge well just before I crossed over the bridge uh, uh, Ingleby that's it yeah just before there um, I stopped absolutely sh well I wasn't shattered I was just super tired um, so I just found a bench and uh, just put my head down for 10 minutes and that 10 minutes turned into an hour and a bit. <laughs> so uh, when I woke up, my legs were dead, no energy at all. So yeah, out came the emergency stash of raisins and uh, that perked my legs back up. Bit of a, bit of a, uh, bit of a, bit of high kick on that one. That was fine and started out well. Then the jip started because the temperature was rising. I took my arms off, of course. Um then yeah the warm warm temperature started to rate, I think it was about eighteen. The sun's just come out now I get actually. And uh yeah that's when the mozzie bites started to itch. They started to itch and I could feel them swelling up as in the blisters again. Blistered things. Which there are loads by the way. I must have a nine at least what I can what I've seen uh on the front of my legs. Big ones as well. Little buggers, <laughs> little buggers. Uh, yeah, so I got rid of them yesterday. Put some antiseptic cream and some some soothing stuff on it, and thought that was the end of it. But no, today they're back. I suppose all that sweating on the legs, because I'm wearing um, leg warmers as well. I haven't bothered taking them off because I daren't. I know that <laughs> I'll look like bloody Cosimodo if I take my legs off. So uh, yeah, I've left them on just in case for uh, any people coming by me who uh, <laughs> think I've got the pox or something. I don't know. Right, anyway, uh, pushing on. Let's see what's, uh, what the situation looks like in Grimsby. Yeah, I'm gutted really, but I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. As long as I get my 100, that's my goal for training. <laughs> Six point nine, so I need to find three point one miles somewhere. I made it to Cleef Ops, ninety nine point four miles. I just need point six.
do. <laughs> Ironically, it's a sportive time. Six hours and fifty one.